to start this video off, I want to say that when I started giving my opinions and thoughts on certain situations over the last four years, I would almost always get YouTube comments about my voice. And while some criticisms are okay to have, especially if that suggestion is that, oh, you should have a script for your videos because it always sounds like you're stuttering. I am now at a point where I can't continue anymore. Every time I, when written a, a script for my videos, it would always take me days, sometimes two to four weeks just to make one video. And I really hated that idea of trying to come up with what you gotta say by typing it down. When I tried it for the first time back in late 2020, at first, I felt in my mind, alright, I guess I'll prepare a script for now on. But as time went on for me, I just didn't accomplish what I wanted to accomplish earlier. My first script was back on December 1st, 2019, and it was about the YouTube Kaba situation. And to this day, I still have not, I still have yet to finish that because I was only one, only more skeptical of the video quality and how it would have worked if I audio recorded my tablet to give my takes about it. I decided to go on the Bible script in some cases if I wanted to give my thoughts or opinions. All I ever wanted to do is to make a video and have a consistent schedule of semi-daily uploads to YouTube. But currently I can't because I have poor internet and a Chromebook, so the only way I can edit my videos is to use a website like Canva. And Canva back in the day, when I first used it in 2019, was a website where I would only make thumbnails not videos. Sometime later in May 2020, after I forced myself to stop using the Kind Master app to due to my Android tablet not being able to turn on fully, I explored other options to make videos and long and behold, I found one called Screencastify. I unfortunately at the time figured it out at, in 2020 that Screencastify would only allow you to make 5 minute videos unless you pay for the premium, which was long before I finally started to write a script because I was taking a very long time to think about how well that was going to go. Then in October 2020, Canva started to recently roll out a video feature, but I only found out about it until November 2020. I made my second script back in March 1st, March 12th, 2021. It was a video about being super straight. Since then, I've used the script for the majority of the last two years. Now that I'm nearly approaching three years since making that scripts for my videos, I have decided that it was that it is time to stop typing it. The reason why I've now decided to stop t after t trying to do it since then is due to these problems I have. And one of those problems is, well, timing. If you knew who I am in real life, I am the type of person who beats the time before it beats me. That means if I'm walking fast to save time from wasting when I'm at school, I always beat it before the bell rings when class begins. Same reason for when I'm outside with my family, 
like I was a kid during my time living in New York City. When I walk to either a store downtown or a mall in Manhattan, I always beat the time because I as a kid don't want to stay outside long and rather be home immediately and watch TV. I would also walk fast to my old elementary school cafeteria to go get lunch and walk past to sit at the table and eat my school lunch. The same for my high school days back in Gloucester. That's how I always wanted to beat the time before it beats me. But I can't actually achieve my long-term goal for this YouTube channel of mine if I keep trying to write script for every video I make, which by now is supposed to be semi-daily or weekly uploads. Another problem for this reason is that it becomes tedious for me because writing scripts for my videos felt more like a 12-hour job. And I know that every YouTuber does it at home because they don't always know what to say and it's easier for them. But for me, right now, it is not the best time to continue to write something to say because I feel that's what's holding, holding me back from trying to actually make my videos. And my third biggest and obvious reason is the Wi-Fi. I've been dealing with Wi-Fi issues my entire life nowadays, and writing a script like this during a certain time that can affect me from trying to grow my own YouTube channel, which is why I've gone to 225 subscribers, which was my goal for 2020, but finally got to that after three years. That was why I felt I was never able to get somewhere because of it. That's why I'm no longer going to be writing a script. And I know there's only going to be a few people watching this video or nobody is going to be watching this video. But this video is mainly for the suggestion I've gotten about three years ago. But moving forward, I really want to go back to making my videos the way I had been in the past since my first video on my YouTube channel, which is to speak from the heart or off the cuff, as they say. Because to me, it doesn't really feel genuine to write a script for my videos anymore. And again, it felt more like a 12 hour job. And as great as that suggestion was, my three year experiment with scripting my videos is over. Will I ever come to come back to scripting my videos in, in the future? Possibly, but only if I actually plan to make a script about a certain Boston TV station, for example, whose owner in the past had a disagreement with NBC, and NBC, for the same reason, had a disappointing outcome with this station, which this rift between the two began over a decade ago. So essentially, a deep dive video. That's the only exception. I'll make a script on that. But for everything else, I rather not keep typing a script every day or every week for a video. I just don't want to do something that isn't going to be fun for me. And I also, I don't want to spend 10 days, 2 weeks, 3 weeks, 4 weeks, or even 5 months or so forth just to make a one video and upload immediately. Those are my problems as to why I have to quit. It's too time consuming. For those of you who have been watching me for the last four years, thank you.
Thanks for sticking with me as I continue over time to improve myself going forward.